Hello Cancer, welcome to your love reading. So this is a timeless reading for whenever you find it. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If this um, reading does not resonate with you, I would encourage you to try you know, your other placements as well as cross-watching for your person. So whatever their Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus is. Um, so how I'm going to avoid pronouns today so that this is a more inclusive reading is we're going to look at these Love Oracle cards and we're going to see um, the two different characters and then I will refer to each of you by those characters without using any pronouns. So you can decide who is you and who is your person and we'll do it that way, okay? So let's get started. First we have Whitney Wolf Heard. I don't know who this is in real life. <laughs> um, yes, I do. Okay, so this is a person who has a lot of ambition. Um, this is someone who is very direct and very unapologetically themselves. Okay. Um, it says, if you don't make the first move, someone else will. So this is a person who, um, if this is you or you're a person, there's a lot of fire here. And when I was doing the shuffle, there was a lot of fire coming out for you. But I do know that Cancer recently, so when I'm filming this, has been going through a lot of fiery energy. So um, this could still be you. I don't really get that feeling though, because it doesn't have a Cancer vibe to it but you know take it as it resonates so um this is the founder of ashley madison i believe you might want to look that up um every hour spent staring at the screen is an hour spent alone. This is a person who doesn't like to be alone, so they're either a serial monogamist or they date a lot. Um, they may have a lot. They may have a number of different people on the go when they're not dating seriously, or they may be someone who wants an open relationship or is, you know, has made some questionable choices in their life. Questionable choices is a judgment. Um, this could be someone who is you know, comfortable with stepping out of their relationship, whether their partner is okay with it or not. Beware to other people, your profile is your true self. There's this kind of... I don't know, it's like a... It's like a like a a predatory cat walking the perimeter of something and really assessing what they want. Um, your profile is your true self has this kind of like this person is who they are on the surface, and if you try to read deeper into it, you are you are getting away from who they actually are. I feel like this is the kind of person who admits who they are, but we don't want to hear it, that kind of thing. This could be you as well, and I'm not making judgments. This is just um, what I'm seeing here, okay? So we'll go by Whitney, Whitney. And then we have Giacomo Casanova. Okay, well, I mean, you're in the same... You guys are in the same, you're both dating, you're both out there. Be the flame, not the moth. This is a person, this is a person who pursues, and this is a person who likes to be pursued, okay? And this person kind of sits back in the knowledge that they have a lot to offer. So there's this kind of... Um, confidence about them it can it can border on arrogance but it's more like confidence where it's you know it's all on a spectrum but they really like to um to to have people come to them and it's sort of like who was it i think it's like leonardo dicaprio that's like super introverted and it's really surprising because um he has like you know, all these models around him and things like that, and you would think that he, like, pursues them, but he he doesn't, really. He just, he's kind of, like, to himself. I think it was him. 
or was Jack Nicholson, or was both, I don't know. Um, but it's kind of like that, where it's like they have this like kind of boss energy, and so people just kind of like flock to them. Um, they may be quite successful in what they do, um, and it may be something, again, where they're like relying on attraction, like if they're a real estate agent, that people are really... Um, like drawn to them and they have a lot of clients like they're never short on clients they're never short on people wanting to be close to them though I think that they ultimately are much choosier and and quite private though they seem to have a big public personality this is very interesting in contrast to this profile energy here okay um, so it says always be a free agent promise fidelity to all so this is being open again being open to trying you know, different ways of having a relationship or not having a relationship at all. I feel like neither one of these energies is very open at this time to having a full-on committed relationship. But we're going to take a look at the cards. I'm very interested to see um, because it's Cancer, right? This is a Cancer reading and you think Cancer, it's like the mother of the tarot and that you have this like you know, really committed energy. So I'm really interested to see how this is going to pan out. Um, and, it's, and it says, it's not destiny, it's opportunity. Yeah, okay. So first of all, I want to say that I feel like the two of you may be online dating, um, maybe meeting through something like Tinder or one, or um, I don't know the names of any of the other Tinder's famous, but I don't know the names of the other dating apps, but insert dating apps here, um, but more of the ones that are like hookup rather than, rather than like relationshipy ones, <laughs> like online matchmaking services, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I feel like you're both or on social media, you have like really popular profiles. Both of you are very, um, like you're talking to a bunch of different people. Even if it's not that you actually like cheat or, um, or whatever, it's, it's like you're talking to a bunch of people. You're keeping your options open. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse for Whitney. So if neither one of these personalities is really speaking to you, keep in mind this could also be of a relationship that's coming in, okay? So maybe you haven't met this person yet, so if one of these people sounds like you and the other person isn't familiar, stick with it. This may be um, a forthcoming relationship, okay? So we have the tower reverse. That's not very surprising to me. And the Eight of Pentacles. All right. So this is this is very interesting. I'm getting here that this is you know with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is typically a very patient energy and someone that can take care of themselves. I'm getting here that Whitney is more of a kept. Person. More, um, there's less independence here and more, you know, maybe parents have been helped helping out. Maybe there's, um, you know, there's a little bit of, it's like if there's money, it's not necessarily their money. Um, if there's comfort, if there's a home, it's not necessarily theirs. This could speak to someone who is in a marriage already and is not really feeling that commitment, not really feeling being in that space. I, I like to, anyway, okay. So then when we look over at Casanova, Casanova is married to their work, okay? They are deep in work mode. They work on their skills, their abilities. I feel like this um, Casanova is somewhat of a workaholic and has earned quite a bit, but is not quite at the point of, um, full bounty. Okay. So is working toward that and is working very hard toward that. So in some ways there's a really balanced energy here where, 
um, Casanova is materially working toward things that um, Whitney really values. With the tower reversed in the middle, this is signifying that there's some kind of, I feel like maybe the two of you haven't hooked up before, like you've never actually physically connected. There's some indication of that, but there's also an indication that if this relationship happens, the the or in order for this relationship to happen, there has to be a tower moment. And that tower moment hasn't happened yet. And it's a it's a mutual tower moment. So this could be where both of you kind of like have this explosive thing together. Um, this could be an affair, this could be a tryst, this could be something where it's extremely um, like a passionate night kind of thing. This could also be um, something where both of your lives kind of fall apart around the same time, or you're both kind, you both kind of go through that, and that will inevitably kind of bond you as well, right? So let's keep going. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Okay, yes, perfect. So I see this Queen of Pentacles, Whitney. Um, I see, oh, okay, there's something else I want to mention about the Queen of Pentacles. I see Whitney um, wanting to transform this situation, okay, wanting a new life, wanting a new start, wanting a different way of feeling and being in stability. So whatever the situation is, the other thing that's here um, that's indicated with Whitney with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and I don't know why I didn't see this at first, is that this could also be their mother, okay? This could be their mother, and this could be a mother that is a smother mother, okay? This is someone who overgives. This is someone who is codependent on their child. This is someone who, um, you know, creates codependency so that um, they're needed. So they will constantly try to create opportunities, and that can be where there's a blocked independence because there's a there's a mother figure that is trying to to try to kind of block that the other thing with that mother figure is that it could be a grandmother it could also be an ex um, or a present partner um, earth sign Virgo Capricorn Taurus um, but this this is something that um, Whitney is wanting to transform uh, Whitney is believing that there is a different life. There is something um, that can that could be better here. Okay, with the Four of Wands. I don't normally read um, without pulling out all the cards, but these messages are coming in fast. <laughs> and we have the King of Wands reversed. Interesting. I had that on the shuffle when I was um, premeditating this reading. So. Uh, this King of Wands is really significant and very interesting because I was feeling all that fire energy from Whitney especially, but I also feel mm, not so much in Casanova, but definitely in Whitney. Um, but this is in the shared space. We'll get to that in a moment. First, we're going to clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, please clarify. Uh-oh. This came out on the shuffle too. I'm going to keep this separate as the overall energy of your reading. This is the justice card. Something is needing to come right here. Okay. Something is amiss. Something is out of balance. And it feels like the significance of this relationship, if nothing else, is to bring this, this, um, Bring something back into balance. To right the wrongs of the past, perhaps. Okay, so there could have been um, something to do with this, this um, blocked tower moment. Okay, so let's look at the Eight of Pentacles uh, clarified by the, the High Priestess for Casanova. The... This is interesting because I feel like I pulled Casanova for another sign and the High Priestess. So if you cross watch or if you watch a different reading, you may um, pull up. That's interesting. Okay. So with the <laughs> with this High Priestess again, they're working. 
they're working, but they're feeling and they're sensing that a shift in or a change is in the works, okay? This Casanova person is um, really, oh yeah, I think I'm remembering, is really in their body. Um, this is where they feel things a lot and they have this intuitive sense in their body that something is going on. So, but they're working, I feel like they're working They're, they're working their way through these prophecies. So they're trying to kind of block it out or ignore it because the focus is on work right now. The focus is on building wealth. Um, I'm hearing wealth equals worth to Casanova. Okay, and then in the shared space, we have the King of Wands reversed. This seems like something is amiss. Something is amiss in terms of chemistry, something is amiss. Again, like it's like unfulfilled passions here, like with the, the tower reverse. So it's almost like maybe this is still that like sexual frustration energy. This could be, um, oh, something that I'm getting here. So this could be that one or both of you are experiencing like a shift in your sexuality. Um, so maybe this is the first time that one or both of you has ever been with, you know, a person of the same sex, for instance, um, or <laughs> a person of the opposite sex, you know, it, um, or whatever, you know, choose your own adventure here. But there's something there, there, there's something here for some of you about that. Um, that's not for everybody, but there is something like that. There's some kind of um, sexual energy here in the center that is unfulfilled, okay? And it's building and it's building and it's building, like it's building. Um, and there's some kind of... I can't wait to shift the perspective on this reading because it's going to be really interesting. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to move through, do the reading, and then I like to turn over the cards that are reversed and talk about what that means, what that means to have that energy present. We have the King of Pentacles. Okay. I'm hearing something about riding a horse in reverse. It's like a backwards way of getting there. Can't see where you're going. It's uncomfortable. And the page of pentacles. Did I even say the six of wands? I was so focused. Wow, we have the whole royal house of pentacles here. So Virgo Capricorn Taurus is extremely present in this reading. It's interesting. A lot of water, a lot of um, fire. I don't think we have any. Oh, we have justice here is the only air. And this is Libra. But something is being restored here. You may be in a relationship with this person. And... If that's the case, Whitney is um, coming in as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, so is being the smother mother, is having difficulty with patience, is having difficulty cultivating their own independence or their own bounty, um, but is wanting to transform. And then we have the King of Pentacles energy coming in. So this is... Um, this could be Whitney looking forward to finding someone who is more like them or wanting to cultivate a deeper sense of... It's interesting because the Casanova person is really wanting, is really driven, career driven, is really driven by their work. But I see almost, I see this Whitney person almost getting rich quick or like, you know, like inheriting money or coming into money, like just transforming into this king 
um, almost overnight. And then with the Page of Pentacles reversed, there's something to here to do with being childlike. This could also be that there's a child in this relationship and the child is really struggling with, with the dynamic here. But what I'm getting is this kind of it's like this person is really career driven. Casanova is really career driven and really focused on their pentacles and is trying to move intuitively and instinctively through these things. Um, but is still kind of like immature or unwilling to learn how to budget is what I'm hearing. And this may come up in this relationship. This may be um, something that blocks this relationship because they're so focused on something and they still are feeling underdeveloped or unworthy, like they don't have enough to give, especially um, as we have the King of Pentacles coming up here with Whitney. So there may be some feelings of inadequacy, like this um, Casanova person doesn't have enough to give to the, the King of Pentacles, but in this shared space is this victory. And it's like the scales are balanced. This justice comes in because the person who... Because Whitney is able to provide the stability. And this Whitney, you know, whether this is you or your person, they are free with their money. Like they are, they are open to sharing, to caring, like... They're not going to keep it close to them. So it's like this couple could come together. You could come together, this victory. Finally, you finally get to like hug up too. Um, you know, you, you get to like um, arrive into the space of abundance together. But the what I'm seeing is that the Casanova person has to learn how to receive that. Okay. And there's also room, it feels like there's room for this, there to be some sort of like business partnership or some kind of connection there where um, the King of Pentacles can then put money behind the skills of Casanova and take them from the page to the King. But let's start at the big thing here in this relationship is that this tower moment has to happen, okay? The tower is the foundation crumbling, so something big has to give, something has to shift, or a big epiphany coming in. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, there's kind of like an ego death indicated here, and I feel like that ego death is for both of them, okay? So there's this big shift and we had this like play player energy up here but that's not what i'm getting in this relationship there's so many pentacles like this is building a future together that's what i'm seeing here so this tower moment could be an argument it could be an incident that happens it could be that um that the um whitney stepped out on this relationship and um while Casanova was focused on building their wealth. And so then with this tower moment happening, we see Whitney becoming the queen of pentacles. And now you can see here, we have a full family. We have a full house. Nope, we don't have the night, but that's okay. We don't need the night. We also have the King of Wands, you know, binding them together. But I feel like this is a family. I feel like this is um, people coming together who are well matched. Or 
or Whitney like growing so much that like filling filling their own cup this Whitney person may meet you know the 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 king of pentacles or this is the um mother figure that we were talking about before um with boundaries set transforming that relationship or walking away from that relationship and owning that energy you know whitney starts to own that energy themselves but there's there's that balance that needs to be struck there and then we have passion we have magic at the center of your reading here. You have magic at the center of your reading. Magic and passion. Okay, a lot of passion. A lot of passion. You have the tower to the king of wands to the six of wands. Okay, the four of wands is here. There's going to be a lot of good sex in this situation. Okay, <laughs> there's going to be a lot. Um, something to note though, I do feel like there's something with Whitney where, you know, there could be another situation. Maybe you, I like, you probably already know about this if that's true. Um, but it could be in, in some scenarios for some of you that they go back with their partner as they begin to learn how to be a partner, but that restores some kind of balance. The balance that's being restored here is this progression from, I'm really confused by Casanova in this reading, to be honest with you. I feel like their energy is kind of almost absent in this reading. Like, they are absent. So if Casanova is the King of Pentacles or the King of um, Wands, this is only happening when they give up this overworking And listen to listen to their heart, listen to guidance, listen to their intuition. But there's a new start here, a new material start here. And this could be either from you know receiving or connecting with Whitney, or it could be from something that they do themselves through this split. Okay, but really, um, Whitney is coming out on top for sure in this relationship in a lot of different ways, but there is this potential for a lot of passion between the two of you if that's what you're looking for. The the Four of Wands, I, I keep reading it as a portal. It's also the 1111. Um, and these two are glued together, but it's both, they're both in when. Whitney's energy so those are, there's a lot of passion between Casanova and Whitney there's this it's all on her like all on Whitney's side not her side all on Whitney's side where this side is more focused on themselves more focused on their work yeah so I think it depends on whether Casanova has earth placements and Casanova is this, um, you know, the, the king, the kings here as well, whether those energies kind of um, resonate. Let's get some advice from the animal spirits. Okay, we have butterfly emerging. Take a leap of faith. There's definitely this, like, a, you know, it's not even a choice that's made. It's like an epiphany. It's like something, it's like getting struck by lightning. It's like um, accidentally falling through a vortex. Like, there's something to it, you know. There's, there's like, psychic abilities here. There, there could be a psychic connection especially Casanova would feel a psychic connection here, especially with the magic at the center. 
we may practice such magic together. That is, that is something that is definitely possible here, which will help to cultivate this material security. The dragon, Gaia's gateway, access and Earth's inner wisdom. Yeah, it's almost like the connection here. So whether it's, um, you know, an enduring relationship or not, there's something about this relationship that's going to teach you how to basically mine the universe for what you're asking for, you know, and find, like, restore some kind of balance. Raven, wise woman, change is coming. I said something about prophecy earlier. There's this, um, you may have heard a lot of things about this relationship before you meet this person, or they may have heard a lot of things about you, and it's because it is divine, like, it is a divine um, relationship. This is also gateway, again, with that portal. It's like learning how when you meet each other, you may just start to manifest like crazy. You may play around with that with each other quite a bit. And then the card of the rabbit, and there's a lot of bone in <laughs> I love when I say stuff like that because it's like awkward. Okay, strength. Take time to make clear decisions, bring awareness and light to the situation. You know, there was that impatience in Whitney in the beginning, and I think with all of the pentacles and the wands, there's so much conflict between this earth and fire energy where it's like, let's go, let's go, let's go, but like, also, let's stop, um, let's build. So I think ultimately, this is a very interesting situation. I feel like I've only touched the surface of what is going on here. It was very interesting. Thank you so much for joining. I hope this was helpful. Did I say that you were Cancer? I feel like I called you Gemini at some point. Did I? Okay. I hope we're good. Please leave a comment down below, <laughs> and we'll see you soon.